what is up guys this is Karan here back with another video welcome back to tech Karan youtube channel so after a long time we are gonna take a look at lineage os 17.1 which is officially and unofficially available for almost all devices right now and as you know that i have my redmi note 8 in which i've installed lineage os version 17.1 unofficial build which is based on Android version 10 and you get the security patch of 5th of June 2020 and vendor security patch of 5th of June 2020 almost everything is latest and the latest build of this room is available for almost all the devices so features are almost same performance is almost same so make sure to watch this video till the end I'll show you everything that which you get in Lineage OS custom room so let's get started right now Okay, so first of all, we will take a look at the launcher. As you already know that Lineage OS is based on AOSP and you got the Trebuchet launcher pre-installed where you get some options like allow edit, notification dots, add icon to home screen and there is a very cool feature available as hidden and protected apps where you can hide your apps or even you can lock your apps with your fingerprint uh, and this feature is available on the default launcher which it is just great like let me just give you an example by sh clicking on camera lock icon which means camera is now protected so let me try out opening the camera once if i open the camera you will see your app is protected which means kind of thing uh, you get the app lock pre-installed so moving on to the camera as you can see you can click easily photos this is the normal snapdragon camera which you get pre-installed in this build and yes you can use gcam if you like it and gcam 7.1 7.2 7.3 all are available just go and try it out any build whichever you like you can choose that one also if you talk about in trebuchet launcher you get the option of add icon to home screen show icon labels on desktop notification dots and some other things unfortunately we didn't got any option to choose the icon pack which is missing and i was expecting it to be here also i've tried to install a third party launcher and that was launcher so let me just try out that one too if i try out launcher and it's perfectly fine with full screen gestures everything is perfectly working here so it means you can use the third party launchers if you like it if you want it you can choose that one too Moving on to some other things, one of the best things which I personally like about Lineage OS is this audio FX. You get audio FX pre-installed. We got a lot of effects, dance, flat, folk, heavy metal, hip hop, jazz and a lot more. And also you have the option to choose the speaker mode or earphones mode like I have a, I already have speaker which means the headphones are not connected. So that's why it's showing like this and you can choose any of the thing from here and which working perfectly fine. You also have the option to adjust the bass and virtual is there. That's a very cool thing just go for it audio FX is one of the best thing in Lineage OS custom room. All the apps are already pre-installed, the main apps and all are based on AOSP which means AOSP dialer, AOSP keyboard and almost all the AOSP apps are there pre-installed. Moving on to the Geekbench score, Geekbench score can be different for all the devices like in my device it has 307 single core score and 1235 is the multi core score which is not kinda impressive if you talk about the single core comparison it's almost same average and this time it's totally same 307 and 307 but moving on to the multi core we get 1300 average but in this time we got 1235 it means if you talk about the gaming and some other things in performance and battery backup it's not that much great i'm talking about it's not that much great it means it's not bad it is just not that much great if you compare it with the performance of other custom rooms. Moving on to the settings, as I already told you that this room is totally based on stock room with just little bit of customization which are necessary so no extra customization options are available. Network and internet, connected devices, apps and notification, everything is same here and when you go to battery, if you talk about the battery backup, it's just super duper great. I'm using from some time and didn't got any extra and unnecessarily drainage of the battery system. It means it's perfectly fine here. And if you talk about the display, you got the dark theme option, you got the live display option, adaptive brightness. 
and if you talk about the styles and wallpapers i've tried to create a style and it's perfectly fine here click on apply and it's applied successfully okay here it is this is how it looks like i've tried to use the style and the fonts the icons the square shape and everything is just fine and it's perfectly working here when you click to hold and drag to add tiles you have the location option hotspot ambient display aod volume panel and a lot more new things are available here which you can customize if you want to moving on to some other things sound storage privacy location everything is just fine no extra things are there but in system you have the option to customize your buttons where you can choose the invert layout option if you are using navigation bar but i am using full screen gestures so this option will not work and moving on to the power menu you have the option to choose the screenshot option and lockdown nothing else extra options and you also got the option to control the playback which is a very important feature for me because i love to use these things and moving on to some other things in status bar you have the option of quick pull down you have the option of system icons you can customize the clock and you can customize the battery indicator and at last brightness customization options only and this is a very cool thing in gesture when you go to system navigation gesture navigation here you get new things like back exclusion at top and navigation hint this was not available in previous builds of lineage os but in this june build it's available here and i like this feature a lot it would be pretty great if the hide notch option would be there but it's unfortunately not there so okay okay everything is just fine so this was all from today's short and simple review regarding lineage os 17.1 i hope you like it don't forget to like share and subscribe goodbye have a nice day